Okay, real quick, what we're going to do this morning, we're going to install a new water heater. This is the one that we've got. It's 46 inches tall. This one over here is 54 inches. So, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up having to cut these pipes off and solder some extensions to these pipes. Once we get it in place, I'll measure them. I just unhooked the wiring. Over here is the wires. Comes down from the ceiling. And I went into the panel and made sure that we turned the water heater off. And then I also checked with my meter to make sure that that was not hot. It's not hot. It's good to go. So now um, I went ahead and released the overflow valve. And down here at the bottom, there's a faucet, and I went ahead and opened that faucet so it can run over here into the floor drain. So by the time I get the pipes all loosed up here, it should be about empty. And then I can scoot it out of the way, scoot the other one in and measure up the pipes and see how uh, much more copper we need to solder onto there. But I've turned the water off here. That's the shutoff for the water here. The uh, cold, I believe. And the red one is the hot. And it runs up and over into that other room. And I shut it off over there. So we have, or excuse me, right there's the shutoff for it. So I've got the hot water turned off, cold water turned off, electric turned off. And now I'm disconnecting them all. And I'll come back to you a little bit later. Okay, we're back. You know, this particular bolt here was giving me a lot of trouble. Rusted, did not want to come out. So, with that being said, I'm going to have to extend these pipes anyway. So, it's kind of a waste of time spending undoing those bolts. I'm just going to cut them. So, this one, as you can see, has already been cut loose. And over here, you know, just a, uh, a pipe cutter. And you spin it and go around a couple of turns, give it a little more tight, do it a couple of more times. And then here in a minute, I'll have this pipe cut. And then we'll, we'll slide the other one over and we'll measure uh, how much pipe we need. And uh, then we'll just solder a joint together. We'll put something like this here uh, a sleeve in the middle here and probably here, excuse me, in here to connect the new pipe, a connector. And then we'll get the bolt, the head with the threads and we'll uh, attach that and put it right into the new hot water heater here on the top. Okay, we'll come back to you. Okay. We're back working on our hot water heater. Here is the copper pipes that we're going to use to install it. <laughs> and what I've done, I've cut these two to length. And we'll come back and show you a video when I get back down in the basement. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to solder some joints. What I've done is in the fitting and the pipe here, I've already taken some what they call flux. Um, and I've taken the, the flux and put it inside the pipe after I clean the pipe. As you can see, I take and I clean this pipe with the ends of it with a bit of uh, sandpaper. And I've put flux down inside of it. And I'm going to put just a little bit more around the outside. What the flux does, it actually helps draw the solder down into the joint and I've measured these so that I can do it outside and have a little sunlight which is nice I'm not sure how this is going to go as far as being able to hold it and video it um, but we'll give it a try here and see how it works I just take my little propane torch
this pipe up a little bit. And once I get it good and hot, that flux starts melting. You're not really trying to... Whoop, I got to adjust my flame a little bit. You want to get the joint itself really hot. That's what's going to uh, melt the solder. Quite good and hot, but I don't want to melt my phone. So we're going to give it a little break there. Take a look. sure that that solder went all the way down into the joint all the way around the pipe as you can see it did so it looks like we've got a good solid uh, solder joint there I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other one and I'll come back to you in a little bit okay real quick I'm gonna try to show you one more solder um, I've got this end soldered all the way around to my connection, Oops. and now we're going to solder this piece where we've got our connector that goes to the two different pipes. Got to be careful when you're working on this stuff too, because I'll tell you what, these pipes can get awful hot. And what we're trying to do is melt or get the pipe hot enough that it melts the solder. But not so hot that uh, not so hot that it all runs off. Okay, so we've got that side, we'll turn it. And that flux helps draw it right in to your connection. Just 
Bob Whitmore right there. Seems pretty good though. I'm going to turn this torch off. Looks pretty good. That looks really good that we've got a pretty good solder joint there. So that one's done. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to do another one and I'll come back to you a little bit later. Okay, we're back. We're in the basement. So we went ahead, we soldered the connection here and the connection here, and we screwed these on to the top. I've done it on the hot and the cold. I put a little bit of uh, this plumber's pipe thread sealant on uh, before I put them, you know, screwed them down, as you can see. So that we make sure we have no leaks at the threads as well. And then now we're going to put those two inside of each other and solder those joints. So I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes. Okay, just wanted to give you a wrap up here. Finished putting uh, the tank in. This particular side here because that shut off valve would not 100% shut off. It kept having a drip, drip, drip. And you cannot get a solder when you've got water dripping in a pipe. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of people that have tried and I'm not that good. So I took this one, put a shark bite on it. The other one's fine, sealed, no leaks. Everything is sweet. Then we put the electrical hookup, wired that back in and uh, water is on. All I'm gonna do now is put in the overflow pipe and I'm finished. So that's uh, what it amounts to. It takes, well, probably a couple hours, I guess, depending, but anyhow, if you liked our video, uh, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Have a great day.